Hey guys, it's Wolf, your one and only, coming at you guys with another guide video. And this guide video is going to be on the combat UI. And this is the little combat UI right here. This is all I'm going to be explaining to you guys. So this is going to be a fairly short video. First up is the boss's name and the boss's difficulty. These stars tell you the boss difficulty of how strong it's supposed to be. I'm pretty sure five is like the max difficulty for these type of bosses. And then you have your level. And then there's the crit rate. So this little crit rate does not apply to the boss. The boss does not have a 36 chance of crit rate. You are the one with the 36 chance of crit rate. Now here is the weakness bar. The weakness bar goes down by hitting the weakness of the boss. So if you hover over this orange bar, it tells you what the weakness is. So this boss weakness is his tail. So if you're hitting the tail, this bar goes down. Once it hits zero, it debuffs the boss and the debuff is negative 10% of attack and defense. So that's going to really help you guys out. But if you're not hitting the tail at all, this bar is not going to go down at all. Now here's the stagger bar. And this stagger bar can only be decreased by mercenaries. If you're not a mercenary, this bar won't go down at all. It won't do anything. But if you're a mercenary doing any attack, it's going to start dropping. And once it hits zero, the boss staggers, which means it won't be able to attack you. So it's pretty much like this bar, when it hits zero, he's gonna st stumble over for just a little while. Now, here's your boss icon. Now it's different from the normal enemy icon, which I need to find one. There it is, little bird face symbol. And it says normal enemy. Now, you can also see the type by hovering over this little badge right here or icon and he's a drake bond and this one over here is a shallow mod yep i'm playing digimon inside joke pun was attended all right so the type the elemental type is right here this little dot just hover over it and it tells you He's a fire type, and this is a physical type. So he does physical damage. Now, here's your loot info. It gives you everything the boss will drop, but I've noticed that some don't actually have their melt inside of their loot for some reason. It doesn't tell you that it gives a chance of dropping it, but these normal Dragon Mons actually do have a chance of dropping their own mount, even if it's not inside the loot menu. So I do want you guys to keep that in mind. Hello, coming over here to say hi to me. Oh no, okay, bye. Anywho, that guy was a jerk. That's pretty much it for this little UI, guys. I will be making some other videos for you guys so you guys can figure out everything and come into Dragomon as safely as you can. So with that said, I'm going to show you guys one more thing that some new players won't know as they start. Now when you're fighting a boss. He has special attacks, okay, and you're just gonna come at me, okay, that's good. He has special attacks, and they show up by reticle. As you can see, those little arrows right there, he uses a special attack, but it takes time to charge up, so you have time to move out the way. But sometimes a boss can just shoot it out without even waiting or anything, or giving you any type of warning, or even that little triangle arrow pointing thingy so be careful when fighting bosses because they will just throw it out there like it's nothing 
it would be like a normal boss just throwing out random moves as fast as it's as fast as it can because it feels like it's in danger. So yeah, with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope it helped you guys out and I will see you guys next time. Peace out. Let me kill this bastard before he kills my half lung. Wait, no, I'm not gonna save him. It's too late for him. Thank you.